All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and this is the video failure flowchart out of the revised edition of my book, Computer Repair with Diagnostic Flowcharts. A draft version from the original edition of the book is still available on my phonerbooks.com website. And the point of a flowchart like this is to help you troubleshoot the problems and find out whether or not you, in fact, have a hardware problem that might require you to replace the video card or some other hardware or whether or not it's just a performance issue or how the video card is being used, a software issue, etc. So what we do is we walk through the logical steps, starting with whether or not the computer powers up, and if it doesn't, we're sending you right off to power supply failure, uh, moving through to whether or not you have a live screen, and this is a very important step because if you don't have a live screen, it's also entirely possible that you just have a monitor problem. I mean, your monitor has to be turned on, obviously, and we do deal with some other monitor problems lower on, uh, particularly if you have an LCD monitor these days. A lot of color distortion problems of certain types turn out to be with the backlight or with the, um, the inverter that drives the backlight to light up the LCD. But as you move along, you might say, gee, I, you know, this is awfully complicated. Adapter seated, what does that mean? Um, cable damaged, pins bent, what cable am I looking at here? And the, the unique thing about this book is that we repeat the decision symbols in the margins. So as you read forward, you'd come along to um, monitor power on, for example, and it says, assuming that the system power comes on, does the monitor power come on? Monitors have a status LED on the front bezel, etc. And then it goes on a little lower down to talk about LCD monitors. You know, there's some very simple differences, like when you power up an old tube monitor, it usually makes noise, and LCDs don't. But um, some LCDs are powered by an external transformer. Some of them plug directly in. It really depends on the manufacturer and the age of the thing. And we uh, go through troubleshooting various video failure problems. I'm going to skip forward here all the way to the video performance. Um, here we go. Just to point out, this, this has a little more to do with monitor problems. In other words, is the image wavy? Are you, is it tinted pink, missing colors? Uh, is it is, is the image strobing? Do you notice it's flickering? All sorts of issues like this. And again, with the expanded explanations as you go forward in the chart. So I hope that you enjoy the book or check out the draft uh, procedures on the flowchart. And I'm Morris Rosenthal for phonerbooks.com and we'll talk to you again soon.